Hi, this is Tide Eye Hobo. Welcome to the Big Island of Hawaii. I'm over on the Kona side, so if you ever come over to the Big Island of Hawaii, come on over and check out Tide Eye Hobo, or just Google it. Okay, so today there's so many designs and so many different flavors to give, right? But this is what I call the Fruity Freeze Kaleidoscope. So there's many colors. I have like 83 different colors on my website, tiedyehobo.com. And where I get the colors is from dharmatradingcompany.com. So today I'm going to show you this one here. I hope I do a good job without any bloopers. Okay, and we're going to cut the audience sounds out now, okay? Let's see how you guys like that. Okay, come on, let's check it out. Okay, so after you get done um, soaking your sh white shirt in your soda ash solution, and then you spun it out in the spin cycle in the washer, now your shirt's ready to dye. What we're gonna do, we're gonna lay this one face up, okay? So I'm gonna lay it flat down on the table right now. I'm gonna give you a little close up. Hang on a second. Okay, so what you do is you get the tip of your uh, sleeve here on one end and the corner of your bottom of your shirt on this here and you're going to flip it in half and you're going to reach both underarm spots okay so that's what you're aiming for so I'm going to just float it over there and I want this tip to be matching this point right here in the under underarm and then this point right up here on the shoulder blade okay as long as you got those points matching now here's how you straighten this out you just grab both ends like this flat and kind of press down and just now you got a flat surface, okay? What we're gonna do now is find the center spot, it's about two inches underneath the underarm, and just hold your finger right here. And now what we're gonna do is grab this corner here, and what I'm gonna just do is flip it over like an airplane, like we're folding an airplane, right there, just like that. So you wanna go in straight across, and so they're right here, the same thing, pull it on the edges there, and you get that little wrinkles out. So then right here, you hold this right in on the tip of this in the middle, and you grab your corner here, and you flip it over there and do the same thing on the other side. So now you have, it looks like, like an airplane when you're making those airplanes. Everything goes back to kindergarten, remember that. <laughs> so we're gonna now, what I'm gonna do is bring it, I'm gonna pinch it on both ends like this, and just let it fold itself in half, okay? So now after I got it folded in half, see that? Again, I'm gonna pin, put my finger on this tip here. And then just gonna fold, see right now, I got a wrinkle when I come there, so I just put my fingers along like that, and I'll make it go away. Put your fingertip right there, and you can fold it over the top. Nothing has to be perfect, so whatever you make, it can be your own cool design. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Everything's beautiful, okay? So don't worry about making any mistakes. Your mistakes are your next design. So always remember your mistakes. So you see how I did that? I grabbed it like this. I pinched both ends right here like this to flip it over. And then I flipped it over like that. I held on to it. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Kind of get this little wrinkle out right there. And put my fingertip right here. There, like that. Just like an airplane. It looks just like an airplane now. See that? That's what it looks like when you have it folded. Okay? So now, I get my highlight marker, and I put the highlighter, right? It doesn't have to be anything perfect, so I do little zigzags. I'll show you what I do right now. Just little guidelines. Okay? Let me give you a close-up of this. Okay? So I drew little guidelines on there like that, right? So what I'm doing now, I'm going to show you a close-up of this. So I get the rubber bands, and I get the ones already in circles like that, so that way I can have to get this really tight. So I'm going to put it right over where the rubber band is, or where the, the line is. So remember the, the three fingers? Well, you have to use like three fingers or two, and you still have to slide this underneath, see? See that? And then let it go right there where that line is. Okay. Nothing has to be perfect when you're just trying to make it look good. So this one here, same thing. 
stretch it out right here like that okay and, okay just do the best you can and you learn from your mistakes and I tell you your, your next mistake could be your next design so if you just remember what you did wrong and then you can do it again you can uh, call it your own okay so I'm gonna do this like this and show you as I put these on so I twist this in half see how I twist it in half now I got the three fingers remember the three finger thingy so I slide it underneath and put it right over the top of this lines are at getting the three fingers and I turn it in half okay one more one more I'm going to show you what it looks like in the aerial view okay nothing has to be perfect okay so now we're going to take this to the dying area so I'm going to use the four colors I used on those was orange red pink and turquoise okay I started off with pink first and I did the tip All right then I came out with orange and I colored just this little triangle underneath it and I came up with red and color the triangle right here like this okay now we're going to do pink again. See how I come into it? Like, I roll into it like this. Okay. So now orange. Red. Always have the Grateful Dead playing while you're tie dyeing. It's just uh, it's part of the spirit of tie dye. Okay, so now we come into it with some more pink. I call these the fruity colors because it reminds me of uh, the fruits here in Hawaii. There's lots of good fruits here on the Big Island, especially. Oh, such good stuff. Okay, so now red, the last one here. Okay, now, again, you're supposed to wear gloves. I don't wear any, uh, so I recommend that you wear gloves, and sorry that I don't, okay? And now I'm going to flip it over. And now this next trick is really easy. What we're going to do... See, the tip has already still got pink on it, so I'm just going to do right below the tip, turquoise, evenly lead the distributed, I'm squeezing the dye in at the same time I'm squirting, so it's got its even flow. You want to do this as uh, soon as possible, so you work kind of quick with this, and then you get your pink right over the top of your turquoise there, and this is where I call the freeze color. Uh, there's lots of stories behind the colors' names, but the freeze color it looks cool. It reminds me of uh, that purple glow when you're on a trip. And you see that glow, that haze, purple haze? It's kind of cool. So we're going to just leave it like that for 24 hours at least, you know, and leave it in a dark, cool area and then keep it moist. Some people put plastic bags on them. I'd just soon just leave it be like that. Don't move it around as least as possible. And then uh, afterwards, after you're done, let it set. Get the washer going. Get a mild soap. And let the water start agi agitating. And then drop the uh, shirt in there right afterwards, okay? So let's go check out the finished results of what this is going to look like, okay? Hang on a second. All right. So here we go. Here's the finished product. It's the Free Freeze Kaleidoscope. If you check out my site, tiedyehobo.com, you can see all the different designs that I offer and all the different color schemes you can choose. So this is why I got funny names for colors. But I appreciate you checking out my YouTube or whatever video you looked at this. And uh, 
Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button and all that fun stuff, you know. And have a great day. Aloha.